Greetings Grapple fans, Rob Ringside alongside Buff Broadside and we caught the sigh just at the beginning of the recording, Mr Broadside. I gather you're not a fan of this particular I'm individual. Just there's something about him that just grinds my gears. Every time that right, he is impressive in that way. Not gonna deny that, he is unbelievable. But the way that he does it just Yep, no, it, it's the intangible, indescribable feeling that the law Lewis Basham evokes as he makes his way to ringside. That's us. That's us. We're right. We are so close to the action, Gravel fans. It's a wonder we're not going to get kicked in the face. And actually, I, I, I put money on it. I, I, I fear. I fear for my life. But I will remain impartial because that was what I am. I am a professional. Yeah, well, the, the, uh, it's, it's the P, isn't it? At the end of the day. It is. to see Lewis Basham's opponent. Shall we bring out his opponent? Yeah! Shall we bring out his opponent? Yeah! Yes, I indeed. Know the UKPW don't know this man very well. He debuted in a battle royal. He did indeed. I know this man really well. This is the breadwinner, and he he wins that bread for his little ducklings. This is a guy entertainment personified. Absolutely, Buff Broadside. He says it himself. He wins the bread so his duckies get fed. Exactly. This is Ricardo Borg, who caught up with Dow Jones when we finally got him to put a shift in earlier today. That's Dow Jones, not Ricardo Borg. Greetings, Grapple fans. I'm Dow Jones, and I am joined by a brand new UKPW wrestler. I, let's just ask. Hey, hi, how are you, and who are you? Hello there. I am Ricardo Borg, the breadwinner. I wrestle for bread so that my duckies get fed. And today, I'm going up against the big sheriff around UKPW. He's known as the law. He's undefeated. He is Louis Basham. Louis Basham, let me tell you something. I come from the pond, where only the tough survive, and the weak drown. I'm going to ask you this. Do you think I'm going to let my duckies go hungry? Hmm? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You must be a real oaf if you think you can take my life. <laughs> I've got nothing to say to that. Back to you at ringside. And we're underway. Ricardo Borg and Lewis Basham squaring off. Safe to say Ricardo Borg is absolutely quackers. Absolutely. And this audience are joining him. I see what you did there, Buff Broadside. This is why we have you. Oh, well. Stating, stating the obvious, just call me Mr. Obvious. It's all right. Lewis Basham really, square off. really, really hasn't handled many people like Ricardo Borg in the UKPW. Yes, indeed, and the unknown quantity element of that might serve in Ricardo Borg's favour. Okay, all right. The, uh, what, Basham, what Basham might have in the power department, I think Ricardo Borg makes up an insectist. Yes, indeed. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> Look at the power of Lewis Basham, just like a rubber duck, just tossed into carelessly into a bath. That's right, we'll see the bubbles later on, but that's with Prince Dean. That's a different story. Yes, indeed. <laughs> nice arm drag from there the we go, see? Look at that, just. Justin. There we go, that is the quack power Just of Ricardo Borg. And, and Lewis Basham is, is actually flawed emotionally, I would say, by this. Looks a little out of sorts. No quack. No quack. You're Lewis wrong. Basham calling for no quack. Plenty of quack. It's cheese and quackers, mate. Here we go again. Basham measuring for a test of strength. Oh, 
Now, obviously, that is a dimension in which Lewis Basham enjoys a considerable advantage over most of the UKPW roster. He's got the height, he's got the muscles, he's got the really confused look on his face right now. I think that's fair to say. <laughs> As they lock up for a test of strength on the hand. As Basham just... Ricardo Fox slowly see down much, towards the map. See how much map, more effort Ricardo is having to put into this. Absolutely. Just, just to remain. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I mean, all credits to Ricardo Fox. He's fighting out of it very, very spiritedly. Oh, uh, over that leg. Look at the power of Basham just making it look easy. And there we go, you see this audience have fallen in love with Ricardo Boards. Quack tactic attitude already. Yes. And indeed. he's up. Oh. See? And then Boom. Oh. Headlock takeover. Everything wrestling. It's underhanded, it's unnecessary. It's within the rules. Unnecessary. Could have carried on with the Greco Roman lock, knuckle lock. He's chosen to take it. Well, arguably, that could be why Lewis Basham has enjoyed such an undefeated streak at UKPW. Going multiple matches now. Not to say he hasn't faced the challenges. Whoa! Oh, big shoulder block. Big shoulder That's block. That's off the ropes. Oh, there we go. Look at that. The ropes just... Wow! Yeah! Beautiful Ricardo hip toss. Borg showing some speed. Yeah, double British foot drop, drop kick. kick. Is that a British one? It is. Ah, all right. I'm learning. That's the other reason we have you here. Borg measures up, equal to the task. Corner for the right, scaling up to the, se to the second. All the way! To the top. Is Basham well, saying ducks he, can't he fly? I think, he, I think they can. I mean, that duck flew, but that's going to be a bad landing. Indeed, as a huge fall away slam from Lewis Basham sends Ricardo Borg across that 20 foot ring. Long way to travel. And as I said at the beginning of this fight, Lewis Basham has definitely got the uh, upper hand when it comes to uh, muscular advantage. Fair to say, upper hand for the upper body. Fair yeah. to say? I didn't know ducks out. had knee bones. Oh. Wow. That must be south because we can't have the flu. Is that, is, that, is, that a is that a ducks migration mm -hmm. across the room? I think so. Must be the time of year. Free Tristan Stone looking to encourage Ricardo Bull back into the ring. Oh. Both men on the outside now. Oh, it looks like we're going around. Taking him on a tour. And there we go. <laughs> the, audience, the audience getting involved. They don't oh, know what wow. they're saying. Look at that. Lewis Bash was driven into the. That into the ring post by Ricardo Borg, and that's going to be connection. absolutely, and that's going to be a good opportunity for Ricardo Borg to capitalise, build some momentum of his own after enjoying very little of the offence up front. Yeah. Bounces the off the ropes, he goes for an elbow drop, but Lewis Basham not there. Not quite, not quite. Uh, oh. Good snap suplex. Ricardo Borg starting to take some proper punishment now. Absolutely, as the. Uh, the action is already so intense, it's taken down our banners. Yeah, safe to say that Louis, Louis, Bashan, Louis Bashan's technique when it comes to some of these suplexes and throws is second to none here at UKPW. No argument there. And as you say, yeah, it may be frustrating when the rules are kind of stretched because clearly the wrestling ability is there. Oh, and the power, to say nothing of that. Huge clothesline that takes Ricardo Ball to the mat, and all that momentum he was building is just undone. And there we go, slowing the match down, taking him back to the the pace, the pace that he wants to work at. Absolutely. Lewis Basham very good at controlling the action in the ring, setting the pace, setting the time, which is good because right. against an opponent and like Ricardo Ball. This, this, this is this is the technique now. See how he's got all the weight over him. Laying down on the head, putting a proper squeeze on him. Audience are going to have to start getting behind Ricardo Borg, otherwise he's going to be lights out pretty quick. Yes, indeed. Lewis Basham could pick up another victory to add to the already impressive array he has beaten on this undisputed run. This undefeated run, I should say. Although it's been undisputed, he won. He won. 
big forearm. And another one. Look at that. Oh, well, looking to try and find his way back into this contest. Oh, wow. Running headbutt takes Basher off his feet. Like a back headbutt. He's done that something like that before, but actually took a lot out of the Kali Bull as well. As he I mean, it was, always said by, it was always said by a very wise man, nobody wins with a headbutt. Was it you? Uh, it might have been. Oh, That's huge right. running hey, power do, slam. Do what? A yeah? Right. Oh. oh. It's a sincere oh, form of flattery. Was that was personal. And the cover. Oh, and two. Yeah. There's only one man that can do that for a free count. But that was personal. You saw that. I did see that. You saw very that. Very well personal. executed. Very well executed. And he did give you a little bit of a little bit of a look. Oh, this is interesting. We don't see this very often from Lewis Basham. He's starting to scale the turnbuckle. It's, it, I mean, this is terrifying for if you. If I was Ricardo Boy, I, I probably mean, wouldn't be enjoying the prospect of this coming out. That right 16 now. stone about to fly. Oh, oh poor not cool. in the way he was hoping. That was a long way down. Ricardo Boy brings Lewis Basham down along with one of the turnbuckles. As if Borg starting to gather some of that energy. There he oh, goes. Forearms in the corner, right in front of our commentation station. Oh, I would have heard that one from over the other side. Just leading him around the ring. This one, oh, this one's going to sting more. Remember when I said to you that eccentricity, that is it. That is what Borg has got. He can turn himself up to 11 and just go to a place that nobody else can. Absolutely. Looking good value here and there for those duckies getting fed. Oh, look at that. Just extra momentum. Just driving him to the turnbuckle. He's looking Lewis. to get this crowd behind him. Hey, Lewis Basham looking a tad out of sorts right now. A touch. Trying. Where's he going? Not sure. Oh, He's, he's grabbing something. That's, oh, that looks he, like his gavel. That is his tiny hammer. It's a gavel. It's a tiny they're hammer. Di they're different sorts of things. It's a tiny hammer. And I've, and I've held that. It's quite big. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh. Hey, dude. Looks like it came past our commentation station. Oh. And I'll tell like you again. That. I will tell you again. What did I say? What did I say? Here is your winner, Lightning Lewis. What was lawful about that, Mr. Ringside? What was lawful about that? Well, Grapple fans, Buff Broadside said it himself. The uh, the finish to that one, questionable. Questionable. Yes. Questionable. Yes. Down it can right be questioned. Cheating. It's, it's, right cheating. I you know the words I'm using, the verbiage. Thank you. That's Lewis Basham's gavel. That's from, coming from outside the ring. Which he threw. It went past us. I did hear a clonk. I thought that might be my Dutch shoes. But nevertheless, Grapple fans, what matters is the fall. And on this occasion, questionable or otherwise, it has gone to the law, Lewis Basham, who picks up the victory and extends his unbeaten run here in UKPW. saw that, he did my power slam a point now. Personal attack, personal attack. Greetings Grapple fans, Rob Ringside here, reminding you to check out more UKPW content on our YouTube channel. There's links everywhere around us, so just pick one and you're gonna have some fantastic wrestling action.